beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I thought I would share with you guys a couple uh, palettes here from the company Pure Cosmetics. Uh, so if you guys are interested in seeing uh, my review and swatches, keep on watching. I, I got my mail just the other day and I did place an order um, with Alta because my husband had seen that I had like three boxes and he was like he's like oh my goodness you know and I was like oh you know I said no I said I just ordered from Alta I said so this one bo box I ordered the other two were sent to me probably from some companies and I knew right away I seen the pure box and I, I didn't order anything so my guess was they were sending me some of their products which they have done in the past before um, sent me some products and after looking at the other box at QVC and I was like oops yeah like I did order stuff from QVC. I kind of went a little ham lately with stuff, but I did order some stuff from QVC recently, a couple different things when they're having their easy pay specials and buys. And uh, so I was like, whoops, yeah, Alta and QVC. Yeah, I did order from those. But the Pure, I, I, I just, I was like, yeah, I, I could justify for that one. I didn't, I didn't order from the Pure Cosmetics, so they sent me something. <laughs> So I was excited because, like I said, in the past they've sent me uh, some PR. They don't send it to me all the time because when the Trolls palette came out, I was like getting excited. I have nothing like flashing you guys. I'm trying to cover up my bra strap, so nothing like flashing you guys. Harden it, at least, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so um, yeah, they send me stuff. So when the Trolls palette... I knew it was coming out, people were showing it. I was like, oh, you know, I was hoping they were gonna send it to me, but they don't always send you everything all the time. And and that, so I get here and there. The Trolls palette I bought, as you all know, and I love that. I think their eyeshadow qualities are exceptionally good. I mean, I don't know, I don't hear much about Pure Cosmetics and their eyeshadow palettes a lot. Uh, Maybe here and there, but not really. And I think their eyeshadows are uh, good quality. I mean, I just, I really do. So I was excited because when I, when I seen it, I was hoping it was going to be what I got and it, and it was, and it is the two new palettes that they had come out from the diaries collection. It's the diaries collection, I think is what they're calling it. And this one's the contour diaries booklet. And it's really cute. It's like just a little booklet. And then I, not sure if I want to pronounce this right, but this is um, uh, Soyeri. I'm thinking that's maybe how you pronounce it, Soyeri. But that is the eyeshadow palette. So um, first of all, you get a really cute area where you have your mirror. So you do have a nice, nice, nice size mirror. It doesn't stand up or anything. You know, if you want it to stand up and you took it with you, you'd have to lean it up against something. I turned my light on a little bit more brighter, so maybe you can see it a little bit better. I turned, you have 12 eyeshadows in this palette, okay? And out of the 12, eight are matte. The bottom ones are all shimmer. So these first two rows here are all matte eyeshadows. Then you got all the shimmer eyeshadows down below. And when I first saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, like this could go for anybody. This could go for the person that wants to step up and get a more higher brand name, but they don't want to spend the $50 or even $40. This palette here is $34. So, you know, if somebody, you know, is thinking they want to step up, they want to go a little bit more higher, higher end and play around with those eyeshadows, you know, step out from the drugstore, uh, $34, that's pretty nice for what you get here. Like I have some of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I'm going to take one of them out for a minute just to kind of see. Looking, they're almost, almost, I would say the Makeup Geek is a little bit bigger. So I'm not sure how big the MAC ones are. Oops, that's sticking. But yeah, that's the Makeup Geek. So the Makeup Geek looks a little bit bigger of a pan. And these are just a little bit smaller, but not by a huge, uh, a huge comparison. So the thing is, I think this would be great for the person that um, is just starting out, just starting out maybe with makeup, and maybe they don't want to go on the drugstore level. They do want to step right into a more higher brand, but they again, they don't want to spend that money. It falls into that category. This falls into that person that maybe 
loves their mats, but they do want to step it up. They don't want to go overboard, over, you know, um, but they do want to try some shimmers or something to that nature. Again, you have them all here. This palette is work friendly. You can go to work and use all the mats and just, you know, that's it. And then later, maybe you're going out with the girls or something like that, maybe your date or whatever. And then you could pop one of the shimmers on your eyelid real quick and just smoke it out a little bit, whatever. It's just, there's so many options. This palette is work friendly. You could go to work and use all the mats and just, you know, that's it. And then later, maybe you're going out with the girls or something like that, maybe your date or whatever. And then you could pop one of the shimmers on your eyelid real quick and just smoke it out a little bit, whatever. It's just, there's so many options. Let's go ahead and swatch. I did have to get a kick out of one thing though. There's one name eyeshadow on here that is the name of one of our fellow YouTubers here in the mature community. And that is Glitzy. This audit shadow right here has the name Glitzy on it. So our little Glitzy Fritzy Fritzy family. She has her own name. Collaborated with Pure Cosmetics, didn't you? And you just didn't tell us, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, just kidding. But I just, I think this is really great. So let's go ahead and get into swatching. I think there, it's basically made for if you want to, you can go straight down, you know, on the palette if you want to. So the first one's called Private Party. That's this here. This is Private Party. Underneath that is called Splurge. And then of course, Glitzy. Private Party is a peachy, neutrally shade. A splurge is your basic matte brown, I would say, sh shade. Glitzy, I would say glitzy is more of a bronze. Yeah, definitely. I think it's bronze. I'll let you see me. And that's just one swipe down. So there's that row there. There's the glitzy, the bronze, like bronze, like a penny almost color. So you can see those are really nice colors. I'll go on my other hand here. Next row is social light. That's this here. That's social light. This one here called stunner and twinkle. I really like twinkle. It's a beautiful copper rose shade. I really like that one a lot. Social light is more of a deeper matte peach. Probably would almost remind me, I don't have it, but peach smoothie or peaches and cream or something like that from Makeup Geek. Stunner is a more maybe like Cocoa Bear from uh, Makeup Geek. Like it's a more cocoa color brown like reddish brown to it i'm looking at right now and then twinkle definitely like rose copper shade you'll see i'm just pushing down once where's okay <laughs> i'm forgetting where i swatched them out so there they are right there i mean look at that twinkle but look how pigmented they are seriously Let's go into this row here. This is the row I used on my eyes, going straight down. So going the whole way straight down. That's what I put on my eyes. The first shade is called Gallia. That's this one here. The next one right here is called Snazzy. <laughs> Snazzy. And then the bottom one is called Dazzle. Gallia is a taupe. It's a matte taupe shade. Snazzy is more your deeper, darker, getting more into your cocoa brown. I'm not sure what cocoa bear is like, so I don't have that one from Mega Geek, so maybe that one could be more like cocoa bear. I'm not sure, but it is a more darker, chocolatey, chocolate, chocolatey. Dazzle, I would say it is in the taupe family. It's more of a shimmer taupe. I kind of did this backwards. This is the first shade. I don't know why I did that that way. That one didn't show up too well on my skin. I did have a little, and I'm not sure if it's because 
of the eyeshadow or my skin color or what, like tone. But I did notice, I, I'm not going to lie, like the Gallia, I did have a little hard time working with it, which I'm surprised because you would think I'd have, but that one I had a little bit of a struggle. There they are there. See, as you can see, it's very faint. It could be the tone of my skin though, so I'm not going to, you know, but and there's that other shimmer color. Their shimmers, like, are real velvety, buttery. They're just, they're really nice. We'll go to the very last row, and that's at the end here, and they're more darker, deeper shades. So the first one is called, uh, Mogul, 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 probably butchering that. Epic is this darker shade right here. That's Epic. I think it says Cosmo for the bottom one. Mogul is your basic uh, cream colored matte. Um, Epic, hmm, I'd say like an espresso color, like an espresso brown maybe. And Cosmo, hmm. Let's swatchy swatchy because I'm not sure. It's like a bronzy brass, like what are they? Like a brassy bronze color. Uh, me and my descriptions. I'm not the greatest at that for by any means, but yeah, like right there. See, it looks more like that brass or something. That that's the last three right there, and you can see they're. They, like I said, they're pigmented. That's $34 for that set. Then we go to the con Contour Diaries. And the Contour Diaries is $32. So again, it's similar to the other one. has the nice mirror in it and everything. This here has your like highlight shades or something more, you know, on a on the top and then on the bottom you have all these contouring shades now in all honesty like when I looked on the site I right away went to the eyeshadow palette I do have several contouring palettes so for me you know uh, like honestly it, it wasn't calling to me but I do have some contouring palettes but getting to play with it and use it it's a really good one I was surprised actually you know like these are all mattes like there is no shimmer highlight up here neither that none of them are shimmer highlights or anything like that which this is more of a cream color if you can see this one's more of a banana color and this has more peach uh tone to it i actually use the yellow one on the top here it is uh charm dream and flirt so this one's charm dream and then flirt and they feel very smooth very very creamy smooth so there they are um, sadly, you probably can't quite fully see the different colors. And then we go down to the darker cup. Flip it around, Lori. Secret, Passion, and Mystery. And as you can see, that does have that more orangey tone. There, That has more of the taupey. That's a little more deeper, darker. So I was a little bit concerned because I am fair to light uh, when it comes to um, foundation so if that helps then in any way I am somebody that's more fair to light in foundation coloring so yeah I used a little bit of this and a little bit of that <laughs> mixed them two together a little bit and it turned out good you overall it's a really good contouring palette I think both are really good the price is good I mean 32 for this and then 34 for that you know the eyeshadow palette I think that's pretty good right now you can get these at Kohl's and Pure Cosmetics, that much I know. So uh, let me know down below, have you tried Pure Cosmetics? Um, you know, like what do you think of their products? What have you tried from them? I know there's quite a few items I have tried, I've purchased, they were sent to me, and I do really like the company a lot. So uh, I've been quite pleased with what I've tried so far, what I've bought and used. Let me know down below what you guys think and uh, yeah. If you did like the video and you did find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell, the subscribe button. Uh, that will notify you by email uh, when my new videos are uploaded and ready to go. That is pretty important because otherwise you won't know. Like you could subscribe, but you're not going to know when my uploads 
are up. They don't always notify you. I think things have been, have been changing a lot in YouTube, so that's one way to know for sure. So yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. And as always, please, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. Right, we'll see you then. Love you guys. Bye. He says bye too.